So here's part two of uh, putting the new hood on the MG. Just finished the screwed up core plug thing, right, on the Austin 7. But here's the instructions. Um, you can freeze frame that and read it if you want. I hope you can make it out okay. Um, really very basic instructions. I'm kind of making it up as I go along. But I'll reread these before I start again. Okay, on to putting the top on the MGB. I come to the instructions. We put the metal plate that I just painted. There it is. The metal plate in the back end. It's drier. In the back section here, right? So you took the metal plate out of the old one and you're putting it in the new one. Uh, I think there's a curve to this. I'm going to try and carefully put it in here and it come out, I hope. And then apparently we hook it on to the hooks at the back here and go on to the next part of the install. My hands all peaky. Stuck at this little notch, you know the notch that um, goes into the clip. places where that metal clip is exposed, right? And that slides into these little clips in the back. Uh, well, you put your top up and down, so I don't need to show you this, do I? It's a little bit different than two to mine. It's got a little packer on it. And then that's one. The second one. And then set it up. Out of position actually. Easy, is it? For goodness sake. Anyway. Did I do that wrong? Oh. I did that wrong. Did I do that? Maybe it's supposed to be another way. Anyway, and then you pull it. Pull it. Get it caught in the door. <laughs> I was in and out trying to speak up Okay. That does not look right, does it? I have my glue gun heating up here. Because it says to glue temporarily onto the top bowl once you get to that stage, right? Not at that stage, obviously. But still, um, it doesn't look right. Somehow. Thank you. 
with the baby. This is one there, I guess. And then you paint that thing somehow like this. I think it's just going to happen to be that fat bow is in, so I did put it on back up again. Okay, so I'm going to keep it back out again. Holy oh, crap, can I do anything right today? I'll pause it and go back again. Sorry. Okay, here we go, I'm back on again. The, I, you know, there's a little um, round seal in the new top that fits in behind that steel bow, so I think I had the bow on the right way. There's no way you can clip on all of the clips like they tell you to. I guess it was a really warm day, or you use the heat gun to expand the vinyl. Maybe you can get this second side clip on. I got one side clip on. Uh, but the tightness of it, I mean it's two inches short of that clip, so there's no way that's going to go on. So what it says is put the top bow uh, into position, right, so this is the top bow, I just gave it a coat of paint, the same as the other one. I'll screw it in, right, the three screws on either side, um, onto the, you know, the, this top bow onto the frame, right, um, and then you temporarily glue, you glue it, I don't know, I guess, you glue it, onto here, it goes underneath that little channel thing that we took off, and then you pop rivet and everything, right, but uh, right now, let's just screw it on, and um, we'll go from there, right. Okay, I'll come back and maybe film some more. Uh, it's tough. This. Okay, I had put the rear bar in the wrong way around. There's only two ways it can go. Uh, so there's a kind of 45 degree angle on each side. The you know if you think of the longer end, the longer side and the shorter side. The shorter side goes to the rear, right? If your bar's the same as mine, I don't know. It doesn't look original, mine. It looks as if it's a replacement. But anyway, I screwed on the top bow, that was awkward as well. And then with you know rearranging that rear bar and fiddling with it, I managed to get both all the you know the the two side clips here and the rear clips on. I didn't get all those press studs on. I'm not even gonna try that. But you know it's stretching pretty good. 68 degrees and kinda of windy outside. I'd rather be outside but it's wet. Uh, I don't want to use the heat gun, so I'm trying to make do with it the way it is. That, you know, movable rear bar is awkward. But anyway, you know, if I can tighten it up like that, I don't know exactly how you do that. It says to temporarily glue it on there, but that glue is not going to hold that under that tension, you know. So I don't know exactly how you're supposed to do that. Take the top bow off and Fold it underneath and screw it to start with until the glue sets, maybe. But anyway, it said to check for wrinkles and stuff. Didn't seem to be many wrinkles on mine. I can't quite get that movable top bow correct. I don't know why. But I guess when I tighten it up, it'll work. So I'll try and tighten it up and put a temporary glue or something on it. I don't know. Right, so from reading it, it looks as if you unfasten the top bow and glue it the way you would finally. Right. So I'm going to try and do that. Then the other side's put down. I found it easier when I was screwing on that top bow onto the brackets to actually put the top bow top bow in place, right? And um, you know, fasten it so I could kind of get it right. Anyway. Um, I'm guessing, you know, what they're getting at is you bring it around like that. Get some of that black paint on my fingers. Probably better to repaint all this stuff the day before. Um, right, so I guess they're meaning bring it round the way it was, right? It was glued in here. So, you know, if I bring that down now, I guess it's going to tighten everything up. 
Stoppe zum Grillen, ja. Wo fängst du es? Nächster. Bau Scheid. Okay, I've got my hot glue gun going. I'll put some glue in here and we'll try glue in it, right? Okay. I'm going to try. Consolation, it was easy to take the old one off. Not easy to take the new one on. Anyway, and who knows if a hot glue gun is good, but I thought, you know, if it was temporary, a hot glue gun is about as temporary as the cum, as far as I can tell. You know, it's easy to get back off again. Probably glue it on fabric glue or something. I think I would put a couple of screws in it maybe. It's just going to make a big fucking mess. It's going to make a big old mess. Isn't it? Glue over here. Yeah, so I think I'm going to pause the video, I'll put a couple of self tapping, self drilling, self tapping screws in there to hold it in place. No, no. Now I know why no one shows you how to do this. It's just a messy, messy uh, guddle, as I would say. So you get the back clips on. You get the back clips on, right? You stretch over. It says temporarily glue in place. It's impossible to temporarily glue this in place, right? So I put three self-tapping screws in there and kind of reassured myself it was reasonable. It's not right, it's not perfect, you know, it's not bad. It's going to keep the rain out. Um, and then once I was assured it was pretty good, right, I did try and put some glue in and then I tried to put it back over. The glue's not going to set, there's not enough tension in it for the glue to hold it in place. So the temporarily glue it thing is misleading in the instructions. So I got the old aluminum strip, the piece of cutting rod that someone had made, into an aluminum strip. I got that and I re-glued the rubber padding. I was going to order new. I still might order new. There's nothing stopping me doing that, right? I didn't pop rivet on. I put um, goop glue on the top bow and then I just left the three self tapping screws I put in to temporarily position it to make sure that, you know, that it was going to tighten up okay. I left them in put the aluminum strip over the top of that and then I just used those self drilling, self tapping screws about half a dozen of them and screwed the aluminum strip over the top of the three temporary screws I didn't even take them out um, before that I had put glue on it right and then I glued the aluminum strip on and then I just put you know the old torn piece of rubber padding that takes up the space because when you put that down there there's a big space at the front here only tightens up at either side. The rubber pad is, you know, the little rubber strip, like a draft strip. Uh, it's like foam. Mine's it's ancient. I need a new one. But I glued that in, right, on the aluminum. It goes in, it's supposed to go into the channel in the aluminum strip. I just glued it in. 
Um, and of course it was falling off and sagging and I just clipped it down tight. Boom. So that's all wet glue in there just now. But it looks not bad. I'll you know, I'll take you around and show you, but it looks not bad. Um certainly not right at the back. I didn't get all the back clips on, you know. So it's looking a bit if I caught you at the back. See that it's not as tight as it should be, but I mean I can't get all those clips in, the press stud things. I don't know what you call them. Um, and not on that side either, right? So that side's actually a wee bit better. I don't know how you're supposed to fix this at the front. There's other studs or something you have to put in here, right? Didn't get them with the top. It's a cheap top. Just over 400 bucks on eBay. So you got the studs at the back. No studs at the front. Nothing at the front. So you have to reuse everything from your existing car and uh, I need to go look at the old hood and figure out what happened at the front there. I know there's at least one press stud at the front there. Uh, you know, I never use any of those press studs and it keeps it rest relatively dry as long as it's not pouring with rain. So that's the new top on the MG. It's better than the last one. There was a big rip in the side of the last one and it, the, you know the water peed in if you get caught in the rain. So the, the rain won't get in from this one, I'm sure. So, good enough for government work, as they would say, sorry.